Hey guys, so I've got another one to unbox today. We do have the Galaxy J5 2016 um, unboxing phones like crazy this week, and we do have the latest uh, 5 inch phone of the J series. So let's get it open and see, uh, you know, this one. I was very impressed with the new uh, J5, uh, J7, should I say, uh, as well as the original J5. I thought they were very good value the money so we have gone for white one this time a little bit of change from the last one I bought which was black and uh, so we we'll just put that to the side for a second I think I got this from Germany you can see you get your standard stuff in there as well as the battery you need that but uh, put that to the side and we will have a look at the device here so I'm expecting it to have a similar feeling as the J3 2016 which did die unfortunately and the uh, J wow that feels very uh, nice in the hand You've definitely improved the feel in the hand so let's get that off wow so this is uh, feeling a little bit bigger as well they've really minimized the bezels here which was a little bit big on the first model and we can get the back unpeeled as well somewhere here you can't see there we go so you can see the actual material on the back is much more solid as well feels uh, feels like the old HTC sensation if you can remember that I can it's like a solid brushed feeling which is nice we do have more plastic on the sides I usually forget to get rid of the plastic on the sides and I don't see the point in it to be honest just more clutter so you know very uh, nice uh, design here non-offensive nice clicky button can't uh, complain battery in so with this battery you're getting a uh, oh 3100 mAh wow that's big so they definitely uh, upgraded the battery here I mean the battery on the original J5 was fantastic so this is going to be even better So J5 2016 can be had for about 200 euro I think so it represents very good value for money I think we're getting Snapdragon 410 again probably would have liked to bump up to the 6 series but uh, you're getting I think 2 gigs of RAM now so that is a bit of an improvement over the 1.5 gigs in the original And you can see we're still getting 2G Wi Fi, which should do the job. So hopefully, we won't get the uh, just a sec again because that was annoying
there you go you see Sammy doesn't mess around just straight in there so we'll skip this skip that we'll go next we'll go next we'll go not now and we won't do that and we will go to yes no no yes no no and we have an exact replica of the J7 the new J7 but obviously on a smaller scale here which is uh, very nice so straight away I can notice you know the actual bezel as I said a lot better here than the original J5 and you can just have a look at the screen brightness as well so they're both on the max I don't think you get auto brightness which is you know very weird most phones do have auto brightness at this price but we do have something called outdoor mode which does like boost the brightness for 15 minutes but you can see I think in terms of the uh, the AMOLED it looks like it's slightly improved here uh, which is good but the J5 in itself had you know the old J5 had an amazing display for the money uh, so obviously we're getting the updated uh, TouchWiz as well Android uh, Marshmallow based so that's also quite nice I think uh, Marshmallow is rolling out for the old J5 uh, as well about now so that uh, you know you could look out for that uh, let's have a look at the camera here so we're getting 30 megapixel full HD and I don't think there's been a massive difference when it comes to the camera really you do the job so yeah I'm gonna keep this one a little bit more brief I think because it's very similar to the other J phones and uh, I will be doing some comparisons with it very shortly and fingers crossed I might even get the OnePlus 3 at the weekend if my supplier uh, you know uh, can, can sort me out we'll see but uh, yeah just a quick little video here checking this out and uh, yeah I will see you in the next one cheers